gente está aqui no Crypto Day da Empíricos, um evento em que teve o Don Tapscott palestrando. A gente vai começar agora aqui um pouquinho com ele. So the, the first thing, and, and then it's open to you to, to talk. Blockchain is practically irreversible. So can you give us a, an example of, of how that works? If I wanted to hack a Bitcoin block, I'd have to hack that block not just on one computer using the highest level of cryptography, but across millions of computers simultaneously. And then I'd have to hack that block and the previous block in the entire history of commerce on that blockchain all at the same time, while the miners, the most powerful computing resource in the world, is watching me. That's going to be tough. It's like turning a chicken McNugget back into a chicken. Someday someone will be able to do that, but for now, that's tough. You talked about the digital asset investment firm, and I think that's really cool yeah. because it's a new uh, form of, to, to invest in, in blockchain. Yeah. So can you uh, rapidly describe how this uh, ecosystem is evolving to permit that uh, institutional investors get into blockchain technology? Yes. Well, up until now, if you wanted to buy into crypto, you'd say, go get a wallet, you download some ether, get a programmer to help you, and then you take it home, put it in your safe, and hope that your house doesn't burn down. But now, um, we have new companies like Nextblock Global, created by Alex Tapscott, where institutional investors are buying into the company, but where it's a publicly traded company on a regulated stock market. So anyone can call up their broker or go on to E-Trade, and they can buy into Nextblock Global. And in doing so, it's transparent, regulated uh, by securities commissions, and and it's the, the crypto in that company, or the companies they select, are all vetted very carefully. So it's, it's a more, nothing's completely safe, but this is a much safer and more rigorous way of approaching. Thinking about the next years and about the future, what do you expect for 2018 and for the future of cryptocurrencies and blockchain? Well, some people say that cryptocurrencies are a bubble. And for sure, there are lots of, of, of cryptocurrencies that are based on nothing. Um, and there are probably some that are fraud. But this is 1994. And if this is a bubble, it's a bubble like that in a long, long trajectory towards some kind of massive or major uh, correction. A lot of these ICOs are for companies that will fail. But, you know, traditional venture capital one out of 10 companies succeeded anyway. So it's not the safest place in the world to be playing, but the train has left the station. You know, the horse is out of the barn. The cat is out of the bag. We're beginning a new paradigm in technology here, and it's a very powerful thing that I think will go on for a long time. Uh, on your lecture, you, you talk a lot about uh, other applications for a blockchain that are not just the uh, financial markets. So you, you gave some examples. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how blockchain is being used by other companies? Well, outside of financial services, there are thousands of applications emerging. One of the biggest ones is supply chain. Because supply chains are all about knowing how assets move through a process and knowing their provenance. So Walmart is using blockchain for food safety. And you'll be able to look at that piece of beef in a supermarket, scan it in Walmart, and eventually you'll know the provenance. What its parents, that animal's parents were like, what they ate, what antibiotics they had, uh, how they were moved along through the whole food chain, as it were. And this is going to be very important for food safety, but also providing consumers with powerful new information to make smart choices. That's one of hundreds and hundreds of applications. The last thing is if you could just uh, say a like, five second message to that camera for someone who's, who's getting into blockchain right now and starting to know. What's the, your final message? Blockchain is the second era of the internet. And this is a revolution, join in. <laughs>